Tick. The Dairy Fairy Challenge could earn teams the Mpumalanga piece of their puzzle. Mpumalanga is the home of the majestic Drakensberg Mountains as well as beautiful grassy terrain. But that's not all. It is an agricultural hub with a substantial dairy industry in Standerton, a large town lying on the banks of the Val River. And there's nothing better than fresh milk with your breakfast to put some pep in your step. In this challenge, teams will have to work hard for their morning fix. This is, I don't know what this road's name is, but I think like, let's start looking for the cows on this side because they will be on green grass but while I look at the map. Okay, can you hurry then? Yeah, let's go jump. Let's have a, a young jog. I don't know if my team wants to win when they do things like this. I honestly don't know if winning is the aim. Like, okay, I'm gonna have to eat my words if they do find the cows. I'm gonna have to eat my words, but... Anumsa is so deep, guys. Like, he's so deep. You don't understand. Like, with the turn sign, he was literally like, that turn at the garden yesterday, he was like, no, it's not that. There's a deeper meaning. And you're like, that's what they asked for, the turn sign. And he'll always be like, no, there's a deeper meaning to these things. So I just feel like he's a bit abstract. He just thinks about these deep things, like the cows could be here. So let's get ready to win this challenge when they actually get back. Is it, is it yeah. here, guys? Yeah, the yeah, 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 so in any case, I have to get there. How is he going to get all his cows over there? Like, are his cows time? at Judas Farm? By foot, though. No, but in time, guys. Like, are his cows at Judas Farm? How about the stall? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're going to the stall. Yeah, we're going to the stall. Yeah, but where, how, how are we going to find the stall? Good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm glad you're here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I legit feel How are you? Alright. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we good. have to milk a cow and get a litre of milk. And we have to teach us. Yeah. It's just how are you milking um, the cow. What's your name? Are you looking at me? I am. I am. I am. It's me. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, you ready? <laughs> We're just translating you, what is it saying? Okay. 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 Do you know oh, which house? Kerkstraat. Oh, no. just Okay, cool. So we're told to come to Tyndall Street, so we've got to go to Kerkstraat now. It's the next one. Okay, um, mevrouw, sorry. Can you for me precisely see where on Kerkstraat it is? Oswald, okay, you're going to call him. Like, Kerkstraat is the next one, right? Like, Oswald net here so and then just to meet him on the corner. Afrikaans is not like my first language or anything, so that was a little bit like it was difficult because nobody else was trying to speak to him in 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 Afrikaans. Okay, can you please call him? So good day. Can you please for us why should it be done? Yeah, I can now eat the course and go. Okay. The beers let eat. Okay. The wash let you eat. Okay. And as a clay, I can wash it. I can eat. Worfat. Can I just translate a few loves? So yeah, you please. have, he's gonna throw in the food, he's gonna feed the cow, and then he washes the egg. His phone just rang, that's why you can also have phone. <laughs> hey, we are at the dead's house. The time we thought. Okay, cool. Let's just go and ask these guys why the beer is there, then it should be fine. No, yeah, but okay, these guys said it was this side. Yeah, yeah, it was these No, this is his there. house, love. Oh. Sorry. Oh, just. No? Oh. I feel like they just. Have you put Vaseline on the egg? Yes, sir. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. 
Okay, I got it. Um, can I use my hand where the other one is? Yeah. Okay, so I have to first wash it. Okay. Ik kan maar beginnen, ja. Just mo. Just mo. Oh, just mo. Okay, cool. Is there a way? Is there a manier waar die adder moet vast houden? Om kadaai? Nee, nee. Hij is alleen. Maar hoe moet het vast houden met zijn hand? Kan het niet trekken? Hij moet niet trekken. Just niet pull, Ayanda. Just pull. Net aan die beerse been raak je. Don't touch the, the, the cow's leg. I'm not, I'm not touching the cow's leg. Oh, a liter, Ayanda. <laughs> No, man, you're not going to get Yeah, don't look at people. This is the Milk Kids Channel Challenge where we have to feel a little bit. Look at this. I'm going to get a little bit of a drink. What happened? I don't know. It's the leg. I didn't touch the leg. The bucket touched the leg. I'm going to get a little bit of a drink. The cow kicked. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, Ayanda. It's fine. It's so intense. What do you think is going to happen? I think we're going to lose the challenge. Now we won't lose. We, we can still do this, you know. Why are we going to get the lead off? I mean, we started from the bottom. We just messed up, you know, so... What did we do, though? Like, we didn't do anything. I don't know, it's just cow, like, sitting up. It's because it's... I don't know, something touched the cow's leg and the cow decided to move. I was so afraid, I thought it was going to kick me. But now I have to, again, milk the cow and try and get a litre of milk. I'm afraid to go back. I'm actually scared. No, oh, guys, no. what happened there? The cow decided to kick our bucket. I don't know what happened. Apparently, he said that we, I, I touched the leg, but I promise you, I did not touch the leg. I was so we focused. You look so yeah, shook, Ayanda. You don't usually, you don't usually look this shook. Because I'm, I was afraid. Did lie, you see yeah. how that cow moved? <laughs> so guys, because of all of your good work as well as teamwork, I want you guys to hand take this flask, right? Head on over to Greta's Corner Store. She's going to give you milk that you fill and then you need to rush your milk over to Mer Meryl's coffee shop at the market and then that's going to help you finish your challenge. Here you go. Great Oh my word, guys, let's get in here. Get out the way. Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys. Yes. Hi. Eventually. Where have you guys oh, been? Right. Everywhere. You know what I mean? We decided to take a room around city, look around, you know what I'm saying? Just before we came we back. We took a dead house. You guys are running out of time. Get going. All right. Thank you, you lads. Hi, Kadet. Look on it. Okay, cool. So he's going to be the one that we teach him. Hi, Kadet. Hey, Dan, take the end of the game. Yay. Go on, Omsa. What happened? I I not I Okay. Okay, so we're on our way to find Greta's Corner Store. Apparently we have to get milk there and then deliver it to Meryl's Coffee Shop, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got there first, so actually I think we have a bit of an advantage. advantage. So, let's work all out. How much milk do you have? Nothing. Let's take a look at that. How much milk do you have? He kicked all of this out. What happened? Why? Okay, look, basically, I, what I'm thinking is that he's very unsettled because we had one team here, then we had another team. So there's so many people around him and also Cadet says that the food that he's eating. But he literally told me that half of this bowl is, is a, a liter and we had just about that. Amount. You have five minutes left to get your liter of milk. I've okay. got a bit of an out for you guys. You guys need to locate Greta's Corner Shop, mm -hmm. fill it with milk at Greta's Corner Shop and then run over your litre of milk to Meryl's coffee shop at the market. Greta's, you have five minutes. Greta's what milk? Go. The corner shop? Greta's corner shop and Meryl's coffee shop. Um, can I, can I milk Guys, me? listen to me. I'm talking. Go to Greta's corner shop, get a litre of milk, and then go to Meryl's coffee shop and deliver it there. Okay. Far as Greta's corner shop. <laughs> Guys, it's just tourists here. Oh I don't goodness. know. There's a local, so we can ask them. Oh, 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 oh,
Ah, don't go, don't. Sweet thing, I'm not going to go. Mother, Mother Greta, we'll get a little milk as we have to get a little milk as we have to get a little milk as we have to get a little milk. Okay, let's go this way. Well, can you look at the... Come, 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 guys. Okay, and also you can also ask where the... Meryl. What's the other Meryl. one? Meryl. Huh? Meryl's coffee shop. Do you know where Meryl's coffee shop is? Meryl's coffee shop. Okay, great. Come, guys. This is for you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm just going to look around if I can see it here. Yeah. Must be outside somewhere. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Eh? Okay, they're saying by the port. Will you stop? Station. It's up on top of the station. Let's not relax. Let's go. Andres. Which way? Oh, okay. Hi, Meryl. Hi, Meryl. Hello. 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 Bigger Meryl, a litre of milk. Thanks, Ayanda. <laughs> Okay, um, it went really well, I think. Um, our team were out first, so that was really cool. Um, it was a very physical challenge, and I'm a bit like, when it comes to me and running, I'm not the first person to do so. But it was cool. Um, I just feel that the power funny man said that be true for now. Eat the deal with man, like calm down, you know, like was in a team. And if we need to get a man, someone to look like again, like you're not the leader, like let the leader tell us, you know, do this, do that. And if we need some funny man, so like the busy overpowering the leader, but and dies you coolly because then why did we choose him in the first place, like so that you can run your mouth the entire time? Nah, B, nah. Do you I said something with photo coffee. There's a flask. There's a flask there. So I said, you just want to look for some place that sells coffee. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. We just got it after asking. You got to talk to people sometimes. Are you Meryl? Yes, I'm Meryl. Very nice to meet you. We're actually coming all the way to task you with one liter milk. Okay, super. We, we finished our group, the, the, the goats, we finished our um, challenge and then we, we've been saying, we, we've been waiting for the other group and then we see them running but Anomsa is leading the group which makes no sense and he's, the rest of the participants are like behind. Like you don't do that, I mean you know that saying you don't leave a man behind. And I mean the team leader especially is at the back, I mean they could have at least you know have some sympathy, I mean she has a headache. You know finish, you know all for one or you know. I mean, like, finish the thing as one, you know, your group, you, this is a team effort, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, it was very challenging for me. I'm not the active one, so I found it very difficult, the running. I had to stop at times, so I was, like, behind with the team. They were, like, running ahead of me. Welcome to another session of the Mission Pit. How are you guys doing? Uh -huh. All right, so I see we've got a little bit of a breeze blowing and um, just to, are you having a problem with your eyes, obviously, Lovely. right? So just everyone at home so you know that she's not trying to be cool, having a problem <laughs> with her eyes. So how did things go with, for you guys today? Let's, let's start with you, um, greatest of all times. How did things go with you today? Who set out in Dairy Ferry? I set out. So Gushe, you set out. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be Jackie Chan by the cow or get any close to that, so... I decided to volunteer out. <laughs> <laughs> so you did, decided to sit out, but it seemed like you guys had quite a cohesion going quite early. What was your guys' experience with Dairy Ferry Ayanda? It was challenging, but thank you to the locals <laughs> that helped us out, you know, to find, uh, what was his name again? Kadate. Kadate House. <laughs> yeah. But when we got there, he was like, 
not even expecting us, but <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he, did, he, did, he didn't like me. Eh? No. <laughs> I promise you guys, he did not like me. Eh? No, at Chanel, all. it seems like it seemed like for me that you guys didn't struggle much in terms of finding him. What was your plan? Like, you obviously got all of your information in your tablet. How did you come from information on the tablet briefing to actually finding him so quickly? The thing is, um, we as a team really work together. We like, you know what? That's me and Topi. Pat Frafel, the locals, they're from yeah. McGregor. Ask them. Like, yeah. where can we find Kadeit? We got to his house. I was like, I was like, like he calls Kadeit. He's like, dude, where, where are you? You know? <laughs> yes. And he gave us the name of the street and we just like, ran there. So you guys ran there and talking about running, Anomsa, your team ran in two separate uh, um, positions. What happened? I mean, look, Lloyd, it wasn't about running in complete uh, di uh, different directions. We came together as a team and we decided that, you know what, we should separate 50 50. What I'm trying to say, you guys ran off in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that young job. Team of six. <laughs> others decided to go one way and others decided to go. Is that a decision you guys made? Like no, no, no. I, like I feel, like, I feel like you're making this. It's not exactly like that. Like that. We told them that, you know what, <laughs> Hold you on, just guys, stay I'm here quick. I'm not saying. All right, cool. So I, we, we, we discussed this and we're like, yo, listen, the half is going to stay here and we're just gonna find out from the one house that we had a feeling might be Cadet's house. Okay. And so we ran down. Obviously, <laughs> it was barricaded, but being us, we were just like, ah, good warriors. Oh, so this was a, this was a team decision. Yeah. Team three decision. Guys yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> now, Laurie Ann, mm. what I picked up during your guys, like in your team, mm -hmm. who is fluent in speaking Afrikaans? Um, we can speak Afrikaans with Chandra, but um, I'm not. Um, like amazingly good at it. So um, I think we got to the venue and we, we saw Kadate and we we're like, hey, so can you help us get some milk? And he was just like staring at us. It was like, kr, 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 for like five hours. And then like, we just heard like someone shouting, Afrikaans. <laughs> and then like, I started speaking to him in like a little bit of my Afrikaans, which was sounding so broken at that point in time. And then like, we're talking and we're talking and um, it seems as if Anomsa is touching the, the leg of the, the cow constantly and it's creating a reaction and then like at that point Mbass is like hey guys maybe we didn't read the instructions properly because we've, we we seem not to be we seem to have not been reading instructions really well and maybe he was supposed to teach us something so we're like oh snap he really didn't give us a full blown like tutorial on how to actually milk this cow and then like we started talking about it and I'm like dude we don't speak Afrikaans here then Shonda was like I speak Afrikaans and we're all like no, no, no. Like, what's happening at this point in time? So, so Shondre, after you said that you can speak Afrikaans, did your team allow you to be the one who handled everything? No, I didn't talk to Kadet. Why not? Because I wanted to give Loria a chance. You wanted hey, to give Hey, but Loria I was struggling, chance. girl. You saw I was struggling at the... So, That's what happened. So, Mbasa, <laughs> would you say that your, your, your team is working well together? Right now, it's, it's very unclear. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very unclear as to who's the leader because people just decide for themselves that this is what I'm doing and that's that. So it all comes down to the fact that we don't listen to each other and we don't respect each other. It really is as simple as that. And I think that's part of the reason why we've been having a couple of challenges in our, in our team. So, Mbasa, who's the real leader in this team? Because it doesn't seem like it's Emil at the moment. Oh. How does it not seem that it's Emil Klepotin? <laughs> because... Obviously, you guys had a challenge. Yeah. You're in the Western Cape. <coughs> mm. Mm. Predominantly, people speak Afrikaans in the Western Cape. Uh -huh. You guys didn't strategize around that. Yeah. You've got someone who speaks Afrikaans in your team. Uh -huh. You didn't know that. Yeah. And the moment you find out, you still overpowered her and didn't let her speak. No, but I feel like... Let if me I... finish. Okay. You didn't let her speak. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. So what I'm trying to figure out is, you're saying... Mm. That sometimes the team doesn't work properly yeah. because you guys don't give each other a chance. Totally. Is this a single? Is is this individuals? Is it an overall thing? Are all of you not listening to each other? Yeah. Or is it that you guys don't have a clear leader? Or who is your clear leader right now? You know what? I think it's everyone because everybody has. Everybody can say, yeah. "Listen, guys, let's listen to each other." You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So I think it's it's every single one of us. We need to work on that. I mm. I, I cannot fault one single person because we all do it. Yeah. yeah. 
However, clear leadership must always come and stand out at the end of the day. That's my true belief because we can't all be running with opinions at the same time because then we're going to be running in different directions. It shows you like there's no one taking like a strong leadership and saying, guys, this is what we're going to do and together we're going to take the, the responsibility for every, every decision we make, the consequence, whether it's negative or positive. We're all just trying to like, okay, I know this, I know that and I think like a clear leader should emerge. I'm not happy. I see Loisa out there, what he's trying to do there. Because I don't see my, like, my leadership not being there for my team. Like, basically, I am there for my team. But he has to understand that. I understand some of their personalities. Some of them, if I, like, try to put them together, they're going to clash. So I kind of, like, let that particular person have their own um, opinion so, you, so that the, their personalities doesn't clash. So, yeah. So I think we should head to the results. Yeah. 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 It seemed like it was a very entertaining challenge. Yeah. And the challenge was quite simple. For Dairy Ferry, all you guys had to do was collect a liter of milk and go and deliver it to a second point. If you weren't able to milk the cow properly, you were able to go to a second source to get milk and then deliver that milk. Mm. Fortunately, both teams were able to finish the challenge. Ooh. So both of you earn a puzzle piece. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well done. Well done. Well done, folks. Well done. <laughs> you can get that up for your team. Cool. And Carvin, this yes. for your team. All right, guys, so it seems right now with the telly as it stands, um, Greatest of All Times is in the lead with three puzzle pieces. And uh, Gregorians, you guys are behind, just slightly though, with two puzzle pieces. So let's see what happens in our next, next mission pit and good luck for your next challenge. Thank you. Thank you.